What's up party people? Uh, so today's Sunday and I am still rearranging or arranging this apartment. It's kind of getting there. Honestly, just kind of feel like I've just put everything into this room <laughs> to get it out of this room. But, you know, progress is progress. But I, I wanted to, to turn the camera on real quick because I have these two packages and I want to open them on film. I just like opening stuff for you guys, but let me set this up. This is a sample pair. I don't know if these are real or yet or not. I'm gonna find out. Oh, good blade. First from the homie Sean Lindauer, just before Dishonor. Little pack. Oh, nice. Got the Death Before Dishonor sweatpants. Champion Death Before Dishonor. One champion also, well, champion kit. Shirt. So I got the black metal letters. Black metal. LA fan. Shout out to the homie Sean for the kit. I appreciate that. You know I like the all black. And there's this. Let's take a look. Alright, so we have a shoehorn. I mean, off first glance, they look fine, but. Kyle Saul, football soccer, definitely never been put on. So I don't know, I don't know for sure. They look correct, like the things on them look correct. Inside, sample tag. All right, so let me send out some photos to some people and um, we'll find out. Stay tuned, we'll see if these are legit. This is a sample tag. This itself has actually got a sample on it. All right, so today, I'm still wearing the same shirt. Um, today is Monday, and it's funny, because I've been gone for so long that I forgot the tattoo shop was closed on Mondays. Um, I was texting Sager like, what time are you gonna be at the shop? I gotta pick some stuff up, but he's not there. Um, I have a key still somewhere. I don't know where my key is. I need to go to the post office. My uh, multicolor 3.0s, I got an alert that they're at the post office. I'm hoping that I can run down there and catch them before they go out for delivery and possibly grab them. A gamble, because now I'm downtown Denver, so it's gonna take me a little bit. I gotta call an Uber, and I could take the light rail, but I'm probably just gonna call an Uber and head over there real fast, try to get them, and then try to come back and finish all of this craziness, because my apartment is still pretty much in shambles. I mean, we got couch and stuff set up, which this couch, Doobie really did a number on this couch. There's like doobie slobber all over it still, and doobie hair everywhere. So, um, it's crazy. But, yeah, so there's that. Um, these that we unboxed yesterday are legit. I got them checked out. JC says they're legit. Easy Mafia says they're legit. Fake Education says they're legit. I think they're legit. So, uh, those are good. I sent him my offer for them. We'll see if he takes it. I don't really know. Shoe room is still in complete shambles. We haven't even like started on this yet. Today is just still me running around doing stuff, but I'm gonna try and pick up these shoes, see what's good, and um, yeah, hopefully that works out. So I'll be back either with or without a pair of multicolors. The sneaker boys. Fuck. I'm gonna try and not pull this whole stack down while I do that. Straight. Damn it, it's not even what I wanted. It's not even an awesome. What's not even a PKR1? This is Y3. Eh, I don't know what Well, damn. Really hard to figure this out when there's stuff everywhere. Hello. Fuck. I wanted to wear the wishes. I can't even find them. I'm gonna have to just settle on something here. Uh. Ah, fuck it. Ah, self lacing. Truck 
Oh, he's already he, got he, it. But he said he'll deliver it today. Oh, okay, there's just nobody there. So that's the problem. Cool. I'll see if I can catch him later. Thank you. Well, fuck. Well, that might have been a huge waste of time because I don't think I'm going to stick around here for the fucking delivery. Hopefully they drop it off today. I'm annoyed. Call an Uber and go home. Maybe we'll come back later. What a L. Jesus. The new apartment has a uh, $500 fine for every time you're caught smoking, so I've been taking walks for right now before we figure out the situation because I ain't trying to get taxed just for smoking. Hopefully the balcony's chill, but I don't know my neighbors yet. So, but right now I'm going to get a salad. Then I gotta head to Sager's, do some work, then try to go pick up these damn shoes again. One thing about the apartment, I don't know if you can hear this. It's just making this noise. I don't know what that is. Better be coming to fix it, like right now, because it's driving me crazy. Pete Sager here in a little bit. Finished up some designs for the Denver pop up and the Dallas uh, sneaker con and some other online drops because it's time to give y'all some love online since a lot of people missed out on everything on tour. So we got a lot of stuff coming, uh, a lot of work to do. Hopefully these multicolors come in and I'll keep you posted. What are you doing with those guys? It's John Troopers. <laughs> oh, Dorm Troopers? Who's your favorite? One of these guys. Um, like in the movie. Um, Kyra. Like, who's your favorite character? Kyren. Oh yeah, Kylo Ren. Nice. <laughs> this dude just dropped off a sushi roll. What? <laughs> this dude just dropped off a sushi platter. <laughs> Could do reflective. Or yeah, do a weight. Successful art meeting with Sager. Star Wars reenactment. <laughs> I gotta go get these shoes because they just got delivered. Tight. Are they both for me? No. God damn it. Just kidding. What's up? We got the box, finally. Postman dropped them off. No shout out to you today, Postman, for making me wait all day, but uh, I guess that's your job, it's okay. I'm not really mad. Team, shout out to the homie in Houston, John, for going to get these for me. I got a tweet saying that these released a little bit early at the Galleria finish line. So I made a tweet, got hit up by my man John, and he went and caught for me. So size 13 LTD, $200 retail, because that's how LTD goes. On my feet, oh, the battery's dying, hold up. That juice, so, uh, all right, so this is what the shoe looks like. Fun fact, I just copped 1.0 multicolors the other day, they're coming from Hong Kong, so now I have the 1.0, 2.0, and the three. I pull out the 2.0, but there's no way I'm gonna find it right now to show you. Just know these look completely different. If you don't know, now you know. This is what the shoe looks like. Doom, doom, doom. 3.0 Ultra Boost. We've been through it probably at least 30, 40 times now, but really, actually, it, it is a little bit different. So there were reports that this one fit a little bit snugger. Snugger, more snug, more snug. It's actually true. The, the knitting on this feels a little bit tighter. I don't know what it is. Like certain colors just seem to fit different. 
I don't, I have no idea why we different. It seems like any of the darker colors just feel a little bit tighter. So maybe it's the having a black, um, predominantly what seems like a black base maybe makes it a little bit tighter. I'm really not sure. A 13 is perfect for me. A 12 and a half, I definitely would have to take the install out. But um, yeah, they're a little bit more narrow, but everything else is pretty much the same. You know, it's the 3.0 pattern, 3.0 gradient, which you really can't see because you know the stretch mark the stretch mark pattern but you really can't see it here because of the explosion of color that you get um black heel cup with black blacked out jaw rule murder was the case that's a different wrapper altogether yeah it's murder boost of course black continental soul black torsion they should have made this multicolor. i don't know why they didn't but it's also not a big deal because it's the bottom of the shoe but it'd have been cool a regular plastic tpu cages the tongue on this, the pattern changes a little bit on the tongue. Looks like Christmas lights to me. I really like the tongue on the shoe a lot. The same thing towards the heel where the PK changes a little bit. So yeah, like I just said, black base with Roy G. Biv. That's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Uh, mixed all up in the upper. Digitally peppered in. They just hit all the pepper. It's the tricolor pepper. Um, yeah, just every color you can imagine. There's really like no real pattern to it that's noticeable to me right off the bat it's just it's it's all it's all it's all the colors i mean it's all the colors it's the multi-color i think this is a must cop if you've been waiting on a 3.0 ultra boost this is definitely one to get they're just they're super cool like this is a head turning shoe for sure i've been looking forward to this one for a while but pics of it leaked like last year i feel like i don't actually know the release date for this shoe i think i heard july 28th but I also heard July 1st, since for July 4th, but I, re I really don't know. I, have, I haven't been able to keep up with that stuff being on the road as much. I'll get back into looking into release dates for you guys, but right now I really don't know when these are expected to drop, but um, I guess I don't really have to worry about it either. Super duper color rainbow boost. So this is the Chinese New Year, right? Because everyone, not everyone, but people were asking if they were the same or similar. Ugh. And then this is the multicolor. I don't think that they're that similar at all. I mean, yes, they have some of the same colors next to each other. They look very different to me. You are your own person with your own brain. Here, let's do this. So you can decide for yourself what you think. Oh. Do, 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 do. But uh, yeah, I, I don't agree. I, I do not think that they look that close. They definitely have the same base color, uh, which is black, <laughs> and then they have color all peppered in, but um, yeah, not that close, so. All right, but uh, yeah, these are sick. So this is the uh, 3.0 Multicolor Ultra Boost, and this is me saying goodbye. Everyone's asking to look at the multicolors. Well, not everyone, but some people asked 
to see the multicolors next to the Chinese New Year's. I have no idea where my Chinese New Year's are, but I'm gonna try and find them for you guys real quick. So let's see what we can figure out here. How sick will it be if I can just pick it? Nope, that was a trip away. I don't even remember. It's a regular box. Now, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. The Chinese New Year came in a special box. What a fucking idiot I am. I'm a dumbass. God, I'm a dumbass. Oh.